let's share a unique and different perspective on disease and health. Everything will become clear. <laughs> Very clear. There's only one cause of all disease, and it's called toxemia. Toxemia literally, mean, literally means toxins in the blood. But let's get a little bit more in detail. As a normal part of our processes and functions of the body, we constantly build cells, anabolism, and destroy cells, catabolism. It's the destroyed tissue that is toxic. But in a normal healthy body, that toxic waste or matter is removed from our body, so no harm is done. However, when we ingest or are exposed to far more toxins, then the body cannot keep up with the elimination of those toxins. So now the toxins accumulate in the blood and the body. And that's what we call toxemia. And it's this toxemia or those excess toxins in the body that will feed all disease. Now, where do these excess toxins come from, you may ask? Well, first of all, they come from our synthetic man-made foods and drinks, of course. We know they are loaded with preservatives, colorings, sweeteners, high fructose corn syrup, gluten, and the list keeps on going on. We can control this almost 100%, guys. The toxins also come from over, our over-the-counter and prescription medications, which are fake copies of active compounds in Mother Nature, but they're loaded with chemicals and toxins. We don't live in pristine areas anymore. We live in towns and cities, so we're exposed to far more toxins than ever before, including polluted air and polluted water. And last but not least, our daily stresses, our negative emotions, they generate an abundance of toxins in our mind and our body. That's where we get those excess toxins from. Now, what do these toxins do in the body? First of all, they're floating around and they're going to steal an electron from a healthy atom. And that healthy atom now becomes a free radical. You guys heard about free radicals before? All right, now free radicals are unstable molecules or molecule fragments that wreak havoc in the body. They cause damage on a cellular level and they impair our function. The only defense we have against these free radicals are antioxidants. You heard about those before. Because antioxidants, they donate an electron to the free radical so it becomes healthy and stable again. Now, where do we find antioxidants? in our fruits and vegetables, in our food from Mother Nature, right? Okay, great. So these toxins cause free radical damage. Secondly, those toxins floating around in our body, they put us in a state of emergency. We refer to that as systemic or chronic inflammation. And even according to conventional Western medicine, over 90% of all disease is a direct result of this chronic inflammation. Even cardiovascular disease is now regarded an inflammatory process and no longer the result of high cholesterol, which, by the way, always has been a hoax. Paul Ritker, a Harvard cardiologist, identified several principal markers for systemic inflammation, including C-reactive protein, or CRP. If the CRP in your blood is low, that means your systemic inflammation is low or non-existent, which means you're not at risk for any disease. That's pretty cool, right? For now, just remember that this toxemia or these excess toxins floating around in your body that they cause, number one, free radical damage, and number two, systemic inflammation. So we'll need to learn later on how we can reduce the ingestion of toxins, but simultaneously, fight free radicals and systemic inflammation.